If you have your Bible, go ahead and go to the book of John chapter 6. I'll give you the actual verse in just a few minutes here. <clears throat> Last Sunday night, my brother Brian spoke on a Sunday night service. And Brian, um, I realized how many were here Sunday night? Just a handful of you. Uh, I would highly encourage you, if you were not here, that you need to go, go get it. It's on Bethel TV. You, just go online and get it. And it was exceptional. And I don't want to give you the spoiler, but it's an incredible testimony as well of just Brian's uh, the last few years and the breakthrough that he's experienced personally about uh, just a whole lot of stuff. And I don't want to say too much. I just want you to go listen to it. If you are, if you are in a challenging or painful season, you need to go listen to this. It's a must. And if you're in the best season of your life, you need to go listen to it as well. It is exceptional. And uh, Brian, like, move on, move on. He doesn't want me to talk anymore. No, it was, it was exceptional. And he really brought a lot of freedom and breakthrough. And he made a statement last week that uh, I want to start off this morning with. And it stuck with me when he spoke it, obviously, and I wrote it down. It said, consider it a gift when God is your only option. Consider it a gift when God is your only option. Incredible. You can, you can camp on that one for ever. And <clears throat> what I, I got a few things that I want to take a stab at. We're going we're gonna to actually walk through John chapter 6 a little bit. So we're going to read a, a portion of Scripture, which is never something to apologize for. But we're going to read a portion of Scripture, and then uh, we're going to talk about Jesus. Paul had given a few hints at uh, opening the service and during the offering, but we're going to talk about Jesus. How many know it never gets old to talk about Jesus? If, if it ever gets old to you, then you've forgotten who he is. Seriously. Like, oh, we always talk about Jesus, and it's been a while since you've been talking to Jesus because you never get tired of talking about or hearing about Jesus. That's just my opinion, and I think the Bible backs that one up pretty well, too. I just turned 40 last week, and, and I have felt this, uh, this, this wisdom come on me. It's amazing what happens when you turn 40. Actually, what really happened is my wife, um, I finally caught up to my wife. She is six weeks older than me, and she liked to make that a very clear point every year that she is older than me. So she's always ahead of me, and, and she was here last service, and I taught, and she said, you'll never catch me, Eric. And I said, that's probably true. I'll just follow you the rest of my life. But um, my wife is always talking about how much wiser she is. Every year she gets older. She's like, wow, I just feel wiser. And uh, so she, she likes to rub that in a bit. And... I think life is interesting, you know. I, I think when you hit certain stages in life, there are different thoughts. And, you know, one of the things that's funny about life is, you know, you get gray hair. How many gray hair people in here do you have? Good for you. Raise your hand. You, you know what? Let me just say something right here. Gray hair, don't, you should not be going to People Magazine, to Cosmo Magazine, to get your opinions on gray hair. Why? Because the Bible talks about gray hair. <laughs> the Bible actually talks about gray hair, and it says it is a very good thing. 